So here comes Drew Brees for the second time in his professional career, the number one seed. And when they played the Eagles in that Week 11 matchup, Charles, he had his best game of the season. Just about everything he threw was on point, and he led his team, rallied them right to a big time victory. He knows it'll be a little bit different in the game plan from the Eagles facing him today, though. Expect a lot more zone coverages on the back end. Saints will start from the 35, and they will throw it. Reeves going to go deep, right off the bat, looking for it. It's intercepted. First play of the game. We're saying they're going to check. Did he come down with the football with a clean catch? And I believe the answer is going to be. Second and ten. Four man rush. Breeze going far side of the field, and it is incomplete. This is great. Third and ten. Here's Breeze under pressure. Going to go deep again and incomplete. He was looking for Michael Thomas. Waiting for second. Breeze finds it, picks it up, and then is smacked by Malcolm. Everything going wrong for New Orleans here in the first quarter. Even when they gained a break from the taunting penalty by Jernigan to get him out of a little bit of a hole, the very next snap, Drew Brees has a miscommunication with Max Unger, his Pro Bowl center. On second down, we get another flag. Delay of game. Here is Breeze, second and long. We're going to get some yards, and that will help. Michael Thomas makes the catch, breaks the 10. Record to safe tour. He's right. Third and 10. Four man rush. Breeze. Pumps. Throws. Complete. It's Thomas. First down in a big game. They expected. They just rushed the four across the front and dropped everyone else. But look at Drew Breeze's movement in the pocket. Makes it up. Didn't have it the first time. Took the. Here's Breeze. Four man rush fires and it is knocked away. And look at LeBlanc with enough confidence to not just play the upfield shoulder of the receiver, but enough confidence to undercut the route. Pittsburgh felt he'd have a big day today. They tried. To no avail. Third down. Here comes the blitz. Breeze slipped. Ball is loose. Flag two. Picked up by Philadelphia. Brandon flag is backside Brandon Graham does that look familiar Philadelphia fans remember the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots it's the empty hand rule Drew Brees is not going forward the hand comes through empty so that's a fumble ball is free that's his third interception of the year and here's Brees to throw last time near side it's Ingram who makes the catch and for the Saints on first down as Aloni Nada checks in for Cox, flag two. Bree sees it, throws it, completes it. Big play on the free play. It's Michael Thomas is still going inside. First down. Kevin, you remember last week they were talking about Avante Maddox struggling with double moves in Chicago? That wasn't a double move. He just got him twisted. His team. First and goal. Breeze looking, lofting for Gann. He never saw it. Trying to get it to 10. Comes back to, hey. You guys figure it out, and Ted Ginn can't locate the football. Second time now we've seen a Saint. Remember Pete? On a third and goal. Brees stands in, throws Thomas the catch, but he's... Uh, looks like they will go. The Eagles bring on Haloti Nada, the run stuffer, possibly anticipating that. Ready for that. goal. Brees looking to throw. Throws a fade. Look at Kirkwood working outside, and it's almost as if they've got a little bit of... Ready, now it's Ingram in the game at back. They fake to him. Here's Breeze on the roll. Just completes it to Josh Hill, the tight end. And Hill... That's Kamara who goes out Ready, in motion now, second. top of your screen. Breeze looking the other way, though. Coming back side, it's Thomas who makes yet another catch. Now you lose that with Cox being out of the game. They bring Chris Long in as a pass rush on a third down. Here's Breeze, four-man rush. Stands in, pressure, and Long's going to get to him with some help. Not a great pass rusher. He does a great play. Watch him in the middle, and then watch Long coming from the outside. 
Jernigan pushes. Long actually pushed Joe Buck handle. That was great. You know, how perfect was that? And Mark, and Mark Paul going along with it. We're ready. So here we go. Breeze back to throw. And from his own end zone, gets it over the middle where he's got completion. That is Kamara in the backfield. Breeze stands in, fires far side. Junior, look at the eyes of Drew Breeze downfield. He doesn't even have to look anyone off. He's so wide open, he can go right to his primary target. Talking about getting down to the other 40-yard line. They're almost there. Breeze, pressure, stands in. There's Kamara. First catch of the day, and a big one. Stays on his feet inside the 40, all the way down to the 32. Rain's looking for more. Breeze, pressure up the middle, stands in, throws it in, wide open, it's Thomas. Holding, number 75, offense. No timeouts. Breeze, pressure coming, and loads in, and it's caught somehow. There were no timeouts, they get to the line. Come on. And they'll do just that. Seven in the coverage, and that works fine if the pass rushers can get home. But if they can't get to the quarterback and he has enough time, how about Drew Brees? He hit him at the end of the throw, but Brees already spied the opening, anticipated where his receiver would be, and directly put it into the proper spot. Look at Cox. He affects the play after the ball is gone. Right, and uh, look, he is, he's unlike any other. And, and if you're a wine person, he's kind of like a fine wine, right? I mean, the vintage just gets better the longer you keep it in the cellar. He set a new league record for completion percentage. It was his own record, by the way, from last year. Look at this, 32 touchdowns, five interceptions. His pass rating was the best in the league. I mean, there's not many guys that perform better on a football field as you get older, but somehow Breeze has found a way to do it. My goodness, you just rolled that out there like a sommelier. That was well done. Wouldn't go that far, Charles. I would say so. Whatever's on the table, I'll usually take. <laughs> so after a thought process here with no timeouts, they will just go for the field goal. It was a starting corner back in for the Eagles. As Camara goes in motion, here's Breeze. Four-man rush, pressure from Jernigan, incomplete, but a penalty. Breeze goes quick. Looking to throw it on second down. He's got a completion. It's a game. You can get more after the catch to gain the additional yardage. Second down and nine. Four-man rush. Breeze has time, though, throws over the middle. He's got a completion. In this offensive line, I've talked about them in running the ball. How about what they're doing in pass protection now? The four-man rush of Jim Schwartz, a defensive coordinator. He needs someone to get home and put pressure on Breeze. There was none there. So even if you have seven in coverage, someone will eventually... Time for Breeze. Quick release over the middle, and it's... Ready for touch. Come with a blitz, he gets it out quick, it's a first down, Josh Hill. Ready, ready, Fake to Ingram, Breeze has time, loads up, going deep for Hill, it is in. Ready, After that, it's a second and 20, Breeze back at quarterback, sees some pressure, throws, Thomas has it. Mark in between the seams where the defenders are, and Breeze placing it perfectly. Thomas finding the open gaps. Michael Thomas over hold. Moves it back to first and 20. Play clock winding down. They get it off. Breeze throws behind the receiver. And also set up Michael Thomas for a pretty big hit, too, right here. As you see Bradham, who's trying to get the football. We keep talking about how big he is, but he ran a 4-4 in his pro day. Breeze, pressure comes. Steps up, throws to Kamara in the flat. Kamara one-on-one. To get down to the 16 for a first down. It's Breeze. Steps up and rocks and rocks. Instead of a throw, it's caught. It's a first down. 16, they pick up 20, Charles. And Drew Breeze again able to step up. The pass protection excellent. No one around. And then when he throws the shot, watch Thomas. His ability to catch the football, stay on his feet, and make the extra move. Brad Ingram in now. Ready? What's that? They're going to throw from Michael Thomas. Coming this. Touchdown! A one-on-one -on -one route from the slot position against Crev on LeBlanc. LeBlanc sees the ball, but Thomas uses his body and his physicality to work inside and make the play. The word that comes up so often about how he runs his routes from the opponents, violently. He did it. Point lead. Ready, set. Here's Breeze, gets it to Kamara in the flat with room to roll. Good. How about his vision? Yeah, his vision, his, his ability to go to progressions and find the open receivers, and his offensive line is giving him time to step up, climb the pocket, 
and find the right guy. When you watch Drew Brees practice, he'll throw a football in practice to a receiver, reset his feet two or three times in different progressions just so that he has that muscle memory when it comes time to do it in a game. If I don't go here, I go here, I go here, I go here. Does it every single snap in practice. Second and five. Breeze pressured, steps out of the way calmly, coolly, incomplete. Hey, ball game. Hey. Didn't get many minutes. He's top of your screen as a third down. Breeze going to Smith who bobbles and hangs on. Trey secure the catch. Finalizes it for a big first down. Breeze staying in there and taking the big hit from Michael Bennett. Charles, keep this in mind. One other thing the Saints do well. They led the here. Not, not seen Fletcher Cox in this drive for the Eagles. Here's Breeze on a pump. Breeze going for it all for Thomas. Incomplete at that point. Yeah, Thomas in the slot. Fletcher Cox going to the locker room as we showed you. Here's Breeze. Third down. Gets it out to Kamara who's wide open in the flat. What a tackle. And Fletcher Cox trying to give it a go but on the sideline still. Breeze. Quick pass. It's another one for Michael Thomas. And he is horrible. Thus continues to rush four and try and drop more Ready, people. Set. Kamara in the backfield. They're going to sneak with Breeze and believe the forward momentum will get him. That is a phenomenal accomplishment by New England. Of course, that schedule brought to you by Into Ready, Turbo set. Attacks. And here's Breeze. Pressure from Cox. Back in the game. Breeze gets it to the hill. And Cox putting the pressure on Drew Breeze. Disrupting the timing of this screen because Breeze can't throw it when he wants to. Has to delay it and extend it and allows Malcolm Jenkins to get into excellent position to make the play in the open field tackle. Ready, set! Four-man rush. Breeze firing Thomas. He's got it again! This route was run in pre-snap, meaning Drew Breeze looked and saw where the coverage was and knew with that route it would take him to Josh Hawkins, who's a backup cornerback, mainly a special teams player in his time in the NFL, and he loved his matchup. If he can get Michael Thomas on Josh... Ready, set! Breeze to throw it, looks right, not there, gets hit as he throws to Ingram, who was tackled immediately by Jordan Hicks. And so another pivotal third down.